hello and welcome to another video so in this video I'll be showing you a trade management tool that you can start using immediately once you're done watching this video of course because you will have an understanding of it and then it will actually help you to understand and to know when your trade will actually start moving in your direction so like I said it's a trade management tool so it means that you need to have a trade open for you to use this tool right so it's not a tool that you're going to use to find the direction or, or to enter a trade but it's a tool that you will use when you actually have your trade open because it will help you manage your expectations and you, you will no longer be rushing your trade to actually move in your direction and you will understand why the trade is not moving in your direction at that particular moment because remember like i said in yesterday's video that there are certain resources that we have that we could be using but we are not using uh, and that is one of the reasons why we struggle unnecessarily as uh, as retail traders right so this this video is aimed as also at also helping you guys that when you are actually in your position how do you then manage your positions and your position and also how do you manage your expectations because the more the better you manage your expectations the better your emotions are the better your psych your trading psychology is right so let's get into it so like i said what I'll be exp explaining to you guys today, it's a trade management tool, right? So you use it to manage your currently running positions, right? So it's not a tool that you use to execute a trade, but you use it when you already have a trade that is running, right? So it is a Forex sentiment indicator. So it's a Forex sentiment. Okay, I need to do it in capital letters, guys. Uh, so it's a Forex sentiment indicator right and then like i said it's a trade management tool right so we use it to manage the actual trade so trade management tool right so not to execute a trade but to manage a trade so let's make it large and let's change color so it's a forex trade sent it's a forex sentiment and we use it to manage our trade right like i said how how i need you guys to view this it's like having an indicator that will tell you with 90 percent accuracy that the trade or the market will move in this direction or you can expect it to start moving in a certain direction with high accuracy and i'll and i'll and i'll, and I'll explain my reason why i say with 90 percent accuracy right so so let's do this so we need to make this medium so what what is the forex sentiment based on right so it is based on retail traders and what does it show so essentially it shows uh it shows so it shows the percentage so it shows the percentage of retail buyers versus retail sellers so now if i say that it shows the 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 percentage of retail buyers versus retail sellers now the second question would be what do we know about retail buyers and what do we know about retail sellers or what do we know about retail traders in general right so that's the first things you that, that those are the things you need to start asking yourself so one of the things which is a known fact right it is that actually 85 so 85 to 90 uh, okay so this is a known fact that 85 to 90 percent of retail traders lose money of retail traders lose so this means they trade so this means that uh, they trade at a loss right so that is the first thing you need to understand right about retail traders so now if it means that so if the forex sentiment shows the percentage of retail buyers versus retail sellers and now we know and understand that retail traders lose or a majority of them they actually lose so it means that if we go in the opposite direction of the retail of the forex sentiment then that should be the correct direction at that point in time but because we are using this tool when the market is already running or when we already have a position open so it means that if we are in the same direction as the majority based on the forex sentiment 
then we should not expect the trade to move in that direction, right? So that is the first thing we need to understand that majority of retail traders lose, right? So, so with that being said, it means that the market, right? The market will always move in the opposite direction. So always move in the opposite direction. in the opposite direction to forex sentiment majority right like I just explained to forex sentiment majority so essentially that me this means so it means uh, so this means that if the majority is buying if the majority is buying the majority is buying sorry then prices go lower so prices go lower and vice versa so if which means that if the majority is now selling based on the forex sentiment then price should go higher by price i mean the market we expect the market direction to push higher if the majority is is if the majority is selling right so in visa so in vice versa vice versa right and then like I said like I said this also comes with the what with the high accuracy right so it comes with the high accuracy and then the great thing about this because you need to understand like I said that it's a known fact that majority of retail traders lose and and I, and I don't know why uh, maybe it's the fear of understanding the reason why you're losing as a retail trader why we lose because i'm also a retail trader why we lose as retail trader is retail traders why don't we sit for a minute or two and actually ask ourselves these questions why do majority of us actually lose right why what is the reason behind that right so but that's a topic for another day but of course it's basically because we all consuming the same information we're all focusing on the same information Right, and you know, guys, what I'm talking about when I say the same information. Go on to YouTube, search search forex. You you will see the same kind of videos, same kind of style in terms of videos, and that is one of the reasons. But like I said, it's a topic for another day. But once you have that understanding and idea that okay, if majority lose, that means it, that if I trade in the opposite direction, or the, then that means that I expect the market to go in the opposite direction to majority of retail traders. And a forex sentiment is essentially based on a broker, right? So the broker will, will show you guys the open positions versus buyers versus sellers, right? The percentage versus buyers versus sellers. I'll go into a chart and actually show you what I'm talking about. But it's so important to understand that this is based on the majority who lose, which is retail traders. So the chances of you being wrong if you go if the if you go against it are very minimal right they very very minimal right so so like i said the great thing about this so the great thing about this uh, is that it has a 90 percent accuracy right and i'll show you what i'm talking about i'm not just making this up guys i've been using this i started trading with fundamentals two years ago i've been using this since i was say maybe two years into my trading so for over five years yeah for around five years obviously in the first stages i was using it wrong which is why i'm now confident in saying what i'm saying about it because i was using it the other way around i was using it to find the direction to try and trade in the same direction as the majority but ever since i switched the script and flipped the script and started trading against the majority based on what the forex sentiment is saying because it's a retail trading sentiment or forex sentiment that is when i started seeing more profits in my trades right and also being able to manage my psychology like i said and my patience right because i knew that okay i'm not expecting the trade to move in my direction yet oh now i'm expecting it to move in my direction and then eventually that is what happened you know so before i got sidetracked i was saying that the great thing about this is that it has a 90 percent accuracy right it has 90 percent accuracy and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, right? We're going to go into an actual chart. going to use this because like I said, it's something that you can use immediately when you are done with this video, right? So it's something that you can use 
immediately. So most importantly, it manages our expectations and also only use only use when you have a trade running, right? When you have a trade open, right? So we only use it when we have a trade open. So this is the Forex sentiment trade management tool, right? So this is a trade. This is a tool that I use to manage my trades. Uh, most of my trades, specifically Forex trade as well as gold. Obviously, indices we don't have that uh, in one of the brokers, so I can't manage indices based on on the Forex sentiment. But I am able to manage what to manage my Forex trades as well as, like I said, gold, right? So. So now it fits into our picture, into our puzzle. So now let's go into an actual chart and let us see this in action. So I use Forex sentiment from my FX book. There's a ton that you can use out there on the internet. Uh, you can check them out. Uh, but essentially, if you have, if you got the first part, the framework of how they work, right? Of how you can actually apply them on your trading. So as you can see here, uh, we have let me remove this here so as you can see here we have AUD NZD right and remember what I said it's based on retail traders we understand that majority of retail traders are wrong so what is this is, is, is it telling us here so this is the action short or long short means sell long means buys for those who are not familiar with the terminology uh, then percentage of course majority the higher the percentage that is the majority right so in this case majority are buying 90, 98% is long, or they buying who? AUD, NZD. That is essentially what we're getting there, right? So now let us go into our chart. As you can see, AUD, NZD is falling, right? It is going in the opposite direction to the majority, right? Why? Because 90, 85 to 90% of retail traders lose. They are wrong. I was one of them. I know it's painful, but it's a truth. And the longer you can actually process the truth and try to get to the bottom of why, the quicker you can jump over to the other side. You know, but as you can see here, majority, 98% is selling, right? And you, can, and, you, and you will ask yourself, but then it's clearly evident that the chart is going lower. You can see that the, 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 the mark, because this is the weekly time frame. If we go into the daily time frame, you can clearly see that the chart is going lower. Then why aren't all these retail traders just selling and selling and selling and selling? Because that is not how the mind of a retail trader works. That is not how my mind used to work. How how how, how would my mind work? Was was the realization of the fact that okay, the market is going down. I've missed my entry at the top. So let me try and, and pick the bottom. And that is why the further price goes lower, you see the numbers increase. Because it's a huge number that we can see here. Where we, where we have 98% are buying, but the market keeps on falling. Why? Because that is the mindset of a retail trader. They tr they, they're trying to pick that the, the bottom or trying to pick a top if the market has been going up for a long time. So that is why when the market keeps on falling, you see the, ma the majority keep on adding the directions in the, the keep on adding positions in that opposite direction. It's a mind blowing thing when, when I came to the realization of it, because I used to think that way. But okay, I've missed my sell or selling at the high and I, okay, the move is already midway. So instead of me jumping onto the move and selling, because some would do that, they'll jump onto the move and try and sell, but then the price would pull back, get stopped out. And then they're like, okay, it's gonna go up now. They try and buy, the market keeps on pushing lower. They see that the market has been dropping for a very long time. Now let's try and pick the bottom. Let us try and buy and buy and buy. And the market keeps on pushing lower and lower because it's gaining more and more liquidity, right? So that is this is why we use this as a trade management tool. So we, when you ha when I had my AUD NZD trades open, this is what I would monitor. If this if the if the if the if the if the, if the true if, or if the opposite was true, let's say 98% were short and 2% were selling then I wouldn't expect my the, the my position to actually go in my direction because the majority would be selling. So I would expect price to actually push higher. And that is how I manage my trade. That is how I do not rush the trade to go into profit because I check the Forex sentiment. Once I've executed my trade, what I can control, that's the least I can control. 
right me actually putting the position on but after that there's nothing i can do so this keeps me in check so that i do not become too emotional and start closing my trade because i'm seeing a pullback no i just go into my forex sentiment and i see that okay price is pushing higher okay this is the reason why pr price is pushing higher against my position because majority is what majority is selling as well i'm selling majority is also selling and i know majority is wrong so which means at the current moment i'm still wrong until the forex sentiment starts shifting in my direction or in my favor right and the minimum or the threshold that i use here is a 60 percent so the 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 the, the side that has a 60 percent and above that is the side that the market generally moves in right that's the direction that the market generally moves in so this is for aud nzd and like i i showed you like i told you guys it has 90 percent accuracy you'd be blown away once you start applying this even you can even back test it because if you drop lower as you can see here you can even change time frames you can go into the daily chart and then you can actually back test it uh based on based on the chart that you're looking at because as you can see here this was 2022 this is around 2023 so let's do this so this is around 2020 2023 so this was yeah, this was 2022 so uh, beginning of 2023 as you can see the red is obviously the sellers and the and the green is obviously what the buyers so around 2023 uh let's say beginning of 2023 actually right that is when we had what to just over july of 2023 we had more sellers than buyers so that means that aud nzd prices should have been going higher because majority was selling remember market will always go in the opposite direction to what the forex sentiment is telling us so let us actually go into our trade and see right what we had so uh so this was so this was 2020 so this was 2023 beginning of 2023 so as you can see okay let's go into a weekly chart so it will be easier so this was the end towards the end of 2022 as you can see right and then price started pushing higher why because we had more sellers right more majority was starting to sell and then price has been range bounding all this time and then eventually like we see we saw now we've had what we've had more we've actually had a spike up in in, in the green which is more buyers which means now prices should start pushing lower so this keep in as much as i used fundamentals i used my my carry trade strategy like i explained in the video yesterday but i also use this to manage my trade this is the best trade management tool because it manages your expectations right you know i should not rush my trade i should not rush to buy i should not oh, sorry i should not rush to close my trade because it's not yet moving in profit right because you keep monitoring the forex sentiment so now let's go on to let us check uh, another pair a trade that i'm currently in that i'm holding so gbp usd so gbp usd uh let us see the forex sentiment gbp usd so that i can show you what what how, how i'm using it at the moment so as you can see here 66 percent are actually short remember what i said my minimum threshold is 60 so anything above 60 that means that i'm expecting the the market to move in that direction right so when it comes to gbp usd 66 percent are actually selling right and only um 40 only 34 percent are actually buying so what does that mean if majority is selling then that means that prices should be pushing higher then it means that prices should be pushing higher because majority is selling so let us go on to our actual gbp usd trade right that we have running at the moment so i have gbp usd so let us go into the four hour right so this is my gbp usd trade it went in my direction and then it pulled back am i panicking because it pulled back no why because i understand why because i looked at the forex sentiment and it's showing me that majority are selling so prices will push higher so i am comfortable 
I'm not panicking. I did not, once the trade had moved in my direction with this big candle, once it started pulling back, I did not jump to close my trade because in, in, in fear of, of, of losing. No, because I understood why the market is moving in the opposite direction. And of course, I understand based on the fundamental, the trend is to the downside for GBP USD. Yes, it can push up and, and, and hit my stop loss, but I'm okay with that, you know? So that is how we apply this Forex, uh, this Forex uh, trade management tool to keep our emotions in check so we do not prematurely close trades so that we also understand why the trade is moving in my direction or against my direction at that present moment. So whenever I execute a position, the next couple of days, how I monitor or manage that position, of course, I'll keep track of fundamentals, but most importantly, I'll be looking at the Forex sentiment to see if is the majority moving in my direction or is the majority moving against my direction because if the majority is moving against my direction then now i can start expecting to see profits from my trade but if the trade is moving but if the majority is moving in line with my with my direction then i do not expect to see profits from my trade because i understand that the market will go against the majority especially if the percentage is 60 and above right so i hope this video makes sense guys and that is just what i wanted to share with everyone but uh this is this is again this is the theoretical part of it for you to understand that it is based on retail traders right it is based on retail traders and we understand when you know the fact that 85 to 90 percent of retail traders lose so if it if that's the case then it means that we should expect the market to move in the opposite direction to the forex sentiment initially when i started trading in my early days i would actually use this as a direction that okay if majority is buying then it should push price in that direction but as i got exposed to fundamentals and this knowledge and understanding then it clicked when i saw that no actually it's based on retail traders and retail traders lose so we should go in the opposite direction right but like i said take some time ask yourself why do retail traders lose right and eventually you'll be surprised at this discovery that you make because that is how i tr transitioned from to actually start using fundamentals and incorporating fundamentals and all of that because i knew that some people well professionals make money from this right but what do they do that i don't do as a retail trader but like i said that's a story for another day that's a video for another day for this one i just wanted to show you guys this i say it's the best forex trade management tool that you can use uh to keep your emotions in check to keep your patience in check to to keep your trading psychology in check as well right so i hope you found value in this video and like i say i like i always say if you found value like the video subscribe to the channel and of course share the video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload another video guys so until the next video guys take this apply it big test it like i showed you guys and see how magically it actually works right so until the next video cheers